Good morning. Good morning. I got a couple of things to do. But <clears throat> I just felt the need to go live. I need to start going live a little more. And whoever catches on the replay, we're catching on the replay. Just had my breakfast, which was some um, oranges, uh, five egg whites. I'm sorry, four egg whites and one whole egg and um, orange, a bagel with peanut butter, natural peanut butter on it. And because uh, I get people to ask me all the time what I what I eat, how I eat, how many times I eat. And that would be a whole nother live, a whole nother day. But something was on my heart this morning as I was having my Delgada Slim and Coffee. And I get a lot of messages. I have a um, big following on Facebook. And I get a lot more messages on Facebook than any other platform. But um, I'm on Instagram as well. Please follow that. <clears throat> I do have another page on um, TikTok, which is Skittles World 1. Follow that page as well. But good morning. It's a new day. <laughs> um, I would love to personally know how do you cope with day-to-day -day stress. Listen. Listen to this. And I'm glad you asked that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, y'all. Um, I got a question on Facebook. Um, she said, I, I have children, but I do run a business. And I do work also. She still works, and she run a business, right? Her business is not popping, right? She said her business is not popping the way she would want it to be, right? And, um... And um, she would love for to be able to do more to run her business, right? And she said, um, a lot of discouragement comes from, I'm reading her, her message, like skimming through it. A lot of her, a lot of her um, discouragement comes from her family and friends not really supporting her. That's, the, that, that's where you're fucking up, right there, right there. Out of everything else that I read that she said, right there is where you are living on a surface. Not realizing that family and friends normally be the, the last ones to support. It be strangers that will become your family. Seriously. Strangers. Before you even worry about strangers, you got to dig deep within here. If you have a social media and you have a platform, right there, there's billions and trillions of people that you can reach out to with your gift, with your goals, with your ideas, right? Dig a little deeper because my topic was dig deeper. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Listen to this. You gotta trust. But God ain't gonna give you more than what you work for. You said you want your business. You would love for your business to be blooming and blossoming and going further. Get it, get out. Listen, get out there with your kids. Have your kids to give out some cards. Have your kids, to, you, you and your kids. Listen, go to a Publix. Go to a shop right path more. Go to big shopping malls. Go wherever. Listen. Be creative. People always ask me, how do I get up and do it every day? I don't care if I got one like. I don't care if I got one view. Guess what? Cardi B started somewhere. Beyonce started somewhere. Guess what they did? They dig deeper than the surface. You are living right here. Right there. Right here. Right there. Right, right here. Right here. Right here. You scared to say, what if that right there may work? That's in your head. That you manifesting. That you see. You're not even being... You already talking down to yourself. I wish, I wish, I wish the study said this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to go down. This is how it's going to go. I get up every day and say, it's a new day. You have, listen, one gift that you have that's so priceless, that's so dope and fire is that nobody else can be you. God made it to where you, you, there's no another you. There's nobody me. 
You can be, you can act like me, you can dress like me, you can walk like me, you can talk to me. But guess what? You will never ever be. That's the first gift that you got. You can't even be cloned. You can't be cloned. You can't be cloned. So what I do is priceless. How consistent I am is priceless. I got to get up when it's raining, snowing. Listen, I left my whole job. I invested in the whole business. I invested in it. So I'm going to give everything I got. Take your kids. Make some business cards. Get out there. Let them put them. They ain't got to approach people. Put them on their cars. Have them to learn on how to. Choop, choop. We walking. We're going to meet up back right here. I know the world is kind of crazy right now. So y'all all can walk together. You take that line. I take that line. Start being creative. Get on here. Get on here. Talk to people. It's powerful when you can relate. When people see me doing these things and skits and don't know how, what type of mentality I am, it's a blessing to get on here and talk to people. To let them see that I ain't slow. Let them know that I'm willing to learn. Let them know that I, you know, I have, I have my, um, my downfalls. Some days I don't want to give up. They don't understand that I have a daughter that, that, that passed before, that I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting through it all. Through it all. Through it all. Guess what? It's days where I, I cut off the screen and I just sit down and I cry. People don't know that. But I'm okay to, to, to really tell somebody that because you're not perfect. But I can't keep wanting, 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 and then having my downfall by saying my family and friends won't support me. Guess what? Strangers became my family. Nothing to my family. Nothing about them. Nothing to them. They don't owe me anything. They don't owe me nothing. And I love them just the same. They don't owe me nothing. They don't owe me anything. Nothing. I ain't looking for them to do anything for me or with me. I'm not. I'm not. Guess what? You got to look, dig, look, dig a little deeper. You want a nice body? Guess what deeper is? Mm -hmm. Making time to get up and at least do some cardio, at least do some walking. Guess what? I got to get a little deeper. So I got to know that the, the bullshit that I'm eating ain't going ain't gonna to work, ain't going to help me too much. Yeah, I got to dig a little deeper. I got to be able to, to, to cut off some play, people, places, and things sometimes in order to succeed in my goals. <laughs> you got to dig a little deeper. You got to understand that I'm going to, this is the thing you got to understand that I had to understand. In order for me to be able to get off those, the diabetes, I meant shit have brung up my, my insulin, my, uh, my insulin needles. Yes, I used to have to hit myself with insulin. I had to dig deep. I didn't say, oh, I wish my cousin Keisha would just come over here and help me stick this in my stomach. I wish she would come over. I wish my friends would just come over here and talk to me and tell me what things not to eat and what things to not put in my mouth. There was think pause and what things I should be doing. Well, look, what? Who I had to come from? Come on. Living on the surface is me thinking that my family and friends are supposed to be the ones that help me. Where the deeper part coming at it that I got to say. All right, maybe if I'm ha I'm hanging out with Sasha and I'm a little too much. So on the weekends, that's my downfall. That that's when I really, really, you know, not to blame them, but I gotta take accountability for my actions. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta like, you know, back up just a little bit. Not nothing against them, and I'm not saying we can't be cool no more. But I know that's when I really have my downfall. So I'm a chill. I, I, I'm gonna I'm get in here a little bit now. And I'm gonna start learning what 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 insulin is, how to beat it, how to. I, I need to start reading. I'm get, I'm digging deeper. I'm digging deeper because I don't want to be on this the rest of my life. And if I can catch it and I can do it now, I'm gonna start digging a little deeper to be able to get up off this thing. Then therefore, I might be able to encourage somebody else, inspire to somebody else to let them know that it's not the end of the world that you on insulin or you taking pills for a diabetes or high blood pressure. It's not the end of the world if you was in a coma before and you came out of it. This not the end of the world. Coming out of it showed me that whew, God gave me another chance to win. Yeah. To change my life. <laughs> And it changed my mindset that I had to look, dig a little deeper. If, if I can get over that and if I can move move from that, there's more things that I, I can maybe get out of life. So I stopped hanging out on the weekends. I stopped. I had to. 
I was drinking and smoking my weed and having a good old time, but sometimes feeling sick as hell the next day. Some days feeling like, ooh, like if I'm, if I'm going to make it. Waking up, tipsy, waking, going to sleep tipsy, waking up like, I'm not. You know, who, do, who want to live like that? I had to dig deeper. I had to dig deeper. I can keep on saying, I'm going to go to sleep. I feel tipsy. I'm really tipsy. I went to sleep. And hopefully my family and friends come to check on me and make sure that I, I made it through the night. I had to dig deeper. So I started changing my food. Stop eating the honey buns and, the, the you know, the 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 hogland dogs, the honey buns, the crunchy cheese doodles, the stuff that I was addicted to and loved so much. And understand that those things going to be here when I'm dead and gone. And once I get, get rid of those things, if I feel like I want to go back, then I'll go back. But by the time I figure if I get to a certain point in life, that if I keep the consistency and I keep on doing things to progress and get closer to my goals, word up. I might not even want to go back. I might not even want to go back to what the fuck. If I keep going forward, how can I ever go backwards? If I keep going forward, how can I ever go backwards? A grape has to be crushed in order for it to become wine. I said this on my Facebook. I say this to a lot of people. A grape has to be crushed. In order for it to become wine that lasts for decades, forever. If you take a grape and you sit it, it's going to, it's going to, to just, what? What is going to do? Come on, type it. Because y'all know, a lot of people in this live, a lot of people that's in this live, whoever, because huh? I never really paid attention, five people. Listen, if you take a grape and you just sit it there. What will happen to it? But if I crush them all up, if I crush them up, store it away, and I and it becomes wine, I crush it into wine. How long would it last? That's you. That's 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 you. What are you gonna do? You gonna stay a grape, or you gonna crush it? And the crushing part of, of it is. Studying your ground. This is to the female that inboxed me. Um, studying your ground. Or anybody else that's maybe going through this or maybe have the same question. Studying your ground. Studying your ground. Applying pressure to your ground every day, no matter what it's looking like. It's going to be days that you look like, you know, and some people, they, 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 they move off of what social media looks like. What, 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 oh, I got two likes. Oh, I got five likes. I ain't doing no more. Ain't nobody watching it anyway. <clears throat> Keep going. God gave you a gift. Keep going. That's the crushing part of it. That is the crushing part of it. Word up. You're going to have to get in, into your head. This is what I want. I manifest it. I write all the time. Manifestation is a mug. Write it down. Put it on paper. Make it plain and clear. And ain't no goal too big for God. And that's real talk. Ain't none. It's you. you it's you the one that's talking. You, you. You telling yourself, you telling yourself, I can do it, but I can't do it. That's what you're telling yourself. This is powerful. This is powerful. What you speak into this right here, it, you, this is what you're going to move like. If I get up every day and say, I'm ugly, I don't feel good, I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm this, I'm bloated, I'm duh, duh, but guess what? My body going to move off. You think I'm going to get up and be like, yes, let's go. You, you think I'm going to be like that? Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. But I said, if I'm doing the characters, I'm doing any one of the characters. Hey, say for instance, I'm doing Sasha, but I'm at, I'm Sasha attire, but I'm moving like Leroy. I'm on two different another path. This is powerful. People ask me all the time, how do you get up and be able to be under stress? Like the question the female asked me, or male, I'm sorry, I really couldn't see it, but I seen some of it. I couldn't see if it was a female or male, I'm sorry. But... How do I get up? Some days when I just was boohooing, crying hard as hell because I lost my daughter, y'all. That weighs on my heart and my mind all the time. I don't let it get me down, down, but it's there. It's there. 
I don't tell everybody all the time, but who, why should I have to? But it's there. I talk to him and that's all I need to do. I get up right up out of that. And know what I say? Come on, baby. Come on. Listen, what I say out of this, remember? What I say out of this, this right here is listening. It's a new day. God ain't make no none, none, no mistake. Even though you think it's not fair, even though why it had to be you, da 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 da, da. Get up. Get up. Don't sit here. Because if you lay here and you sit here and you keep crying and you keep on, you soaking into it, you soaking into it, you soaking into it, guess what you're going to do? You're going to stay right here and feel like that all day. No, you ain't going to be able to forget it. You ain't never going to forget it. It's always, it's going to be always right there, but you're going to have to attack it a little better. You the one who told people, write it down, give it to God and let it go. You, you said, write it down, give it to God and let it go. How can you keep writing things down? How can you giving it to God, but you still acting like you in control of it? Like you the one who got to keep on trying to deal with the situation. It's there. It's done. You can't do nothing but make her proud. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Because a sort of kind of effort for anything going to give you sort of kind of results. And that ain't, you, you have other children. You have grandchildren. You have your whole wife. You run a household too, you know, with, with your husband or whatever. But how can you even accomplish the rest of the things that you want to do and love on the people, the other people that you hear if you're soaking in sorrow all day? What are good that you're going to be to yourself first and to others if you're soaking in sorrow? What are you going to be to yourself if you keep on saying, I want to grow my business, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. So I told myself, get up. It's a new day. Thank you. To win. To change my life. To change the people around me, their life, my husband, my children, my grandbabies. It's a new day. I want to get to the top of the world, not for everybody to see, oh, she made it. She at the top of the world. Nope. I want to get to the top of the world so my family can see the world. Let me say that again. Thank you, Joe. I don't want to get to the top of the world so that people can see me at the top of the world. I want to be able to get to the top of the world so my family can see the world. It's so much more than you just living right here on the surface. Dig deeper. This is what I tell myself. This is what I say to myself. This is what every day I get up, I want to show my daughters, my grandbabies, that you may get hit with so many things along the way. You have to jump. You have to get up. You have to realize that. What's happening right now, that too shall pass. But you got to be able to put one foot in front of the other and keep on going. You're only human. Yes, it's going to be days that you want to give up. And it's going to be days that you do give up. But lack of consistency will lead to lack of results. And this is to the female that sent me the message. Remember... Whatever you got into is not a mistake. Whatever you got into is not a mistake. So don't treat it as such. God instilled that in you. God put it forth to, into you to invest that money, mental, spirit, everything into your business or anything that you're trying to do. He put it there for a reason. Not for you to second guess yourself or to get second guess what he instilled inside of you. That's why I take this TikTok so serious. This is why I take my investing in TLC so serious. This is why I take my health so serious. This is why I take me training so serious. Because I know me, 
Me leaving my job, and it's been now 16 years. I mean, I left my job in 2016, and now it's 2022. I left my job. It's been six years. It's not a mistake. So everything that I get in, into, I'm going to give my all. It's okay to dig deeper. Your business is not flourishing only because you keep sitting back doubting what you felt like something that you're supposed to got into or that you got into, you keep on doubting yourself of what you know you're supposed to be doing. Don't put your kids at ex as an excuse because your kids could have been an excuse of why you, before you even got into it. You, you really got into it, opened up and got into a business. But you had kids then. You had kids then already. So how can you even use that as an excuse? You want to invest more time in it. Make time. Get your planner. Get your planner and write it in. From this hour to this hour, this is when I have time to do such a thing. I don't care if it's just a good 20 minutes. Give it the best 20 minutes of your life. Every day that you get up, I swear, it's a gift to be able. I love that God gave me another day today. And it's early. What is 1059 for me to be creative? Whatever I did yesterday was yesterday. It's a new day. For real. To change my life. And to change my mindset. And to win. And I'm going to tackle it just like that. No pity parties, baby. I say, get up. put Fix your crown. Fix it. Fix it. No complaining, no excuses. You ever see me put a hashtag, all gas, no brakes? I mean that shit. Go get them. I love y'all. Mm.